This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Once again, welcome back to Naveen Artificial Lab. So uh, one more quick thing that uh, how to reload the page, how to refresh the page or reload the page in Cypress, just like we have navigate uh, dot refresh method is available in Selenium. Same thing, we can do it over here as well. So it's very simple. Let me create a new file. And then I simply say that, okay, uh, reload underscore test dot JS. And I quickly write one uh, describe over here. And then uh, I simply say that, okay, uh, reload page comma okay and then i'll write one hit block i simply say that okay page reload test okay and i do one thing that i simply say that okay cy dot uh, visit i think i'll just pick the syntax from my previous Okay, test. So let's see, I'll just do something like this. And uh, I'll come over here. Now see it carefully. What I'm doing, I'll go to freshworks.com and I'm checking, I'm clicking on this platform link. I'm clicking on this platform link like this over here. Okay. Now I want to reload it. So how will you reload? So simply you write cy dot reload. Okay, guys. So cy dot reload method, you can simply use it and uh, simple write reload reload means simple refresh the page and uh, let's see it is working or not so i'll just come over here and uh, there is reload test so i'll just run it and let's see so after coming to the platform page it should reload it should refresh the page once again so it's coming on the platform now see again did you notice it refreshed the page and my reload test is passed over here you can see that Okay, this reload is passed over here, right? Like this, you can see this reload. So my test is absolutely working fine. The fourth step is absolutely working fine over here, like that. So this is the reload thing that you can do that. Then there is a, a one more option that if you really want to uh, reload, and uh, let's see, I quickly want to check that uh, this particular platform, Okay, and then I'll write should okay b dot <clears throat> should be visible. Okay, because after reloading, I want to check that okay, the same platform link is visible or not. Okay, so let's see it is working or not. So yeah, see, this is saying that okay, yeah, except expected to be visible. It's absolutely working fine. Right? It's visible over here. I think you can highlight this particular element. So after reload, also it will be visible. But in Selenium, what happens that okay in Selenium, when you reload the page and you doing this and you are performing this uh, action on the same element, it will give you a stale element reference exception. But here you don't need to create. It's simply saying okay, see by dot contains. So it will take this particular element. It will check it's visible or not. That's it. Okay, you can do that. Now there is one more option. If you let's see, I'll do reload once again. So simple write uh, reload and then the bracket. If you really want to reload forcefully force re reload so you simple pass uh, true over here okay if the reload is not happening or something like this or forcefully you want to reload so simple write a reload and pass true over here so it will exactly reload over there okay so you can see that okay reload is true so it actually will make sure that okay yeah the page will be refreshed for sure about it okay so reload page without using the cache it will simple reload it right guys like that so this is another thing and uh, yeah i think uh, it will automatically reload will automatically you can use as a chain function also you can reload and then you can use uh, uh, you know again you can check contains is there or not so let's say i want to check it okay hey contains platform or not i want to check and then you can use it as a okay as an assertion over here that okay it again it should be a dot visible like this so first you reload and then again after reloading you check platform is there or not and then it should be visible so as an assertion also you can use it once again okay now see the second assertion is again getting passed over here so like this also you can simply do that so it's a very very simple okay to uh, trigger the load event 
by using the cy dot reload you can use as a chaining function you can use as an assertion also okay like that you can simply do that other than that uh, yeah so these are the basic things are available with the reload you can pass the same thing if you really want to pass the timeout you can pass the timeout also okay while reloading if you want that okay yeah, a specific timeout you want to give you can do that so okay as a simple like uh, in a bracket you simply say that okay yeah uh, the okay that uh, not like this one second just the way we did it last time right for uh, back and forward for that particular timeout if you really want to do that so you can do that so i'm not going to write it because by default it will take from the cypress.json so if you really want to take a timeout you simply write uh, okay suggestions are not coming like this so okay i'll do one thing that uh, okay let's take like this it is taking a lot uh, okay it's not taking the reload like this but you can do one thing that uh, uh, cy dot reload and okay i think it's not taking the timeout but anyways so let's take the timeout like this yeah timeout like this you can type 5000 milliseconds yeah okay so this is the syntax for timeout you can do that okay and it will be a dynamic so within five seconds if it is uh, reloaded then it's fine otherwise it will give you an error like that and then again it will checking contains and all those things you can do that and again if you really want to pass uh, the force type out with true comma like this also you can pass it okay so see again my tests are running fine with uh, perfectly fine my test got passed don't worry about this xhr guys these are the post calls and in the background it's coming from this these uh, freshworks.com some apis are getting failed in the background okay but our test is absolutely working fine so like this also you can do that normal reload also you can do that and some true force force reload and the timeout also you can do that and it can be used as a chaining function and it can be used with assertion also with the chain function like that okay so this is simple this is simple like uh, you know um for refreshing the page okay guys thank you so much for watching this video